Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. In this lesson, we explore linking files, joining an HTML file with a purple mash game to our original file and we also use an anchor to embed an image which we will use as a hyperlink. This is our lesson on the 14th of August with the Brian Evan coding group. This is in Notepad. The way you would get into Notepad is you go to the start menu, you press that button, you type N for Notepad and you click click on there and it'll open up Notepad. It's a very simple text editor where you can type basic text. In the HTML file, you'll have a header and the end. You'll always notice that the end of hypertext markup language started by Tim Berners-Lee is the forward slash shows that that's the ending. I'll make it a bit bigger. Right, so I'll make it even bigger. That's the ending of the header section. You can see there's where it starts, there's where it ends. And in the header, I haven't really done the coding so good. I should go like this. You'd have the title like that. And you'll see that I, you must space your code out very nicely. I'm going to show you how to link up with two types of files. We can have a picture in the body section. So I'm going to use what's called an anchor. So I'm going to press my space bar twice. A for anchor. And my code's going to be over here. In the anchor, I'm going to put another line like this, forward slash A, to show that's the end of the anchor. But I'm going to put more code in here, in this part. So you need to pay attention to what I'm going to put in that part. And the anchor is going to be, a. am going to bring an image in the anchor. So inside here, in the anchor, in this bit of code, I'm going to put an image, a picture. But first of all, we'll do an anchor as a hyperlink. So when you click on it, it'll go to the picture. So let's just show you how that works. I'm going to put a picture over here. Look, there's Madiba. Now you can see I'm going to put my HTML document in desktop and in the same location. There's Madiba. So if I go like this, I take this file. I'm going to copy the name of this file. So if I want to get the location of the file, in other words, where the file is found, I use a very wonderful little shortcut. Shift and right click. And look, if I go shift and right click, I go copy as path, but I don't really want to put the path in my HTML because I want to show you like this. Let's just try that, and I'm going to change that. I sometimes get a bit confused. Go save, and I'm going to just check the file again. Mandela picture. Aha! It's become a hyperlink. Guys, I'm making a silly mistake, I, which I should have known, is that href, the hypertext reference, is the where you're going to find it in the anchor with the image I'm going to put in. I'm going to use the SRC for the location of the file. Watch when I click on the hypertext markup language. When I click on the link, click on the link, brings up the Mandela picture. Now, if you remember correctly, when you look at the HTML, look, it's only got the name of the file. Now, the reason why I picked up that Mandela picture is because the Mandela picture is found in the same folder as this Mandela pick the HTML file. So in other words, this HTML document is saved in the same place as the Mandela picture. So that's called the relative position of the file. Now watch if I change it. I'm going to go here. Don't worry, it sounds complicated, but it's not really that complicated. Look at the school badge. I'm going to make another folder. I'm going to go, and guys, to make a folder, you go right click. I'm going to go new. Watch over here. 
folder. And then I'm going to call this folder school stuff. School stuff. So this is a folder called full school stuff. And I'm going to put this beautiful badge in the school stuff. So watch. I drag. I hold down my mouse. I'm dragging. Look at the icon. And I hold it over the, the folder and I release. And now the school badge has gone into school stuff. Oh, sorry, I spelled it wrong. School stuff. Now, if I open it, look, there's the badge. Now, watch carefully what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our HTML. I'm going to change the Mandela reference. So, I'm going to go to the school stuff. So, we're going to go like this. If you go over here, go to our school stuff. I'm going to open this folder. Now, there's the badge. What is the shortcut that I taught you if you want to get the address of the file? Hold down shift and what? Right click. Right, so let's do that. Watch, I'm going to go. I'm moving my mouse over this little picture of the school badge. Make it bigger because you guys love that badge. Kaylee smiles whenever I show the badge. I hold down shift. I'm holding down shift. Travis, look. I'm moving over the badge. And what am I going to do? Right click. Copy as part and that's telling me where that file is kept we go back to our html and watch i'm going to change this i'm going to take out the mandela and i'm putting that in now don't worry it's just because i've got word wrap it's wrapping my text so if i look over here i'm going to take this away look at this guys and i'm going to go to there and look that folder that for that backslash is telling me there's a folder. This means there's a, there's a folder in the desktop, the location of this HTML file. There's a folder called school stuff. And in that folder, there's a file called PNG, school badge. So watch, let's see if this is going to pick up the file. So if I go save... If I take all of this away, that away, it should still work. If I go File, Save. This is a relative position of a file. So I'm going to go File, Save. And then let's just see if it will work. I'm going to just, if you look at the absolute position of the file, what is the absolute position of the file? That was when we went Shift. There we go. It's working. Okay, guys, so if you look over here, there's just something about the loading process. Relative position, look, inside the, the desktop, you've got a folder called school stuff. And then you've got a, for inside that folder, with this backslash, you've got a badge. That's the relative position of the file. If it was in the same folder, I would just call it like the Mandela picture was like this, hey. Mandela... Like that, PNG. And it'll know that that's picking it up. And the absolute position of the file. <coughs> Hold down shift. Look, let's bring the Mandela picture. I hope you're not laughing at Mandela. We've got copy as part. And now I'm going to make it like this. Like that. Right, I want you guys to make an HTML file with a picture in it, with an anchor. That's got a link. Now, if you want to make a picture in the link, guys, if you want to make a picture in the link, go like this. So you take that A, that anchor, and where you've got the writing, you see this writing over here? You take IMG for image, then you go and you type SRC for the location of the file, and watch, I'm going to bring a picture in so that when you click on the picture, it takes you to something else. Look. Here's my purple mash game. Opening. Look, it's got a purple mash game. I did this with the other class. So it's loads. And there's this like funny puzzle in here, which is a purple mash game. If I want that, it's going to jump to the purple mash game. You can see here's my puzzle. It's purple mash game. You could play this game. But I'm going to take the link of that file. You're going to go hold down shift, right click, copy as path, and I'm going to bring in that. 
picture, I'll bring in a picture that goes to this purple mesh game in my code. So if I go over here, I'm going to make the anchor go to the purple mesh game. So that goes there. It's an HTML link. And now the image. Travis, I want the image to be the Mandela picture. Watch here. Right click. Holding down shift. Don't forget that. Copy as part. Almost finished, Meg. And then I'm going to go over here and look. Image. And I'm going to make it width equals 50. Height equals 29. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll just make it and now I'm going to go like that. Image. Now, you don't have a closing part of an image, guys. You don't have it, eh? You just have it like that. So let's play it and save our code. Just going to open it again. Look there, it's so small. Oh, Mandela looks like such so small. Can you see it? So I'm going to change it, make it bigger. This is too, too, too small. Let's make it 250. And I don't know if I'll stretch him. But I don't want to stretch Mandela because some of you guys will get like upset because Mandela is like such a good guy. Then if you, I make him look funny, then it's almost like I'm making a good guy look funny. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go in here, Mandela, and look. Oh, he's a little bit stretched. Oh, this guy looks like he's crossing me. I better like make him and make the width a little bit more. So let's make the width. Uh, let's make it. 275. Well, let's make it 300. I can understand why people like to have things in proportion. You don't want to have your everything looking like wrong. And that's good that you get it right. So look, if I load it, oh, that looks more like in, right. Now look when I move over my mouse over Manila's face. Can you see? It's become a little hand showing it's a hyperlink. So if I click on it, it'll take us to the Purple Mash game. So watch. Click. There it goes. Purple Mash game. So that's how our websites are all linked together. They're linked by hyperlinks. And those are called anchors. I can play my Purple Mash game. And also, I can link all my files together that they all join together in a web connection. So that's pretty good. So let's just show you the code. So you guys got it. And you see if you can make it. I'm going to just send it to you guys on your Purple Mash. A big thank you to everyone for watching and we urge your support.